What is going on everybody? Stabs here. Welcome back to another of my videos. Today we're actually going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys my uh, competitive classes. If you guys are interested, uh, you guys don't know what to run or you guys aren't really familiar with some of the stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm running so you, got, uh, you guys can have a kind of general idea. Now, um, obviously I'm not 100% sure um, if these will work for you, so feel free to change them up. Uh, this is what I use, this is what I use, how I play, this, so this usually works best for me. And um, we're actually going to start off with the classes, the gun classes. I'm going to show you two M8A7 classes, an overkill class, um, and two VMP classes, because like I said, that's usually what I use. So let's start off with the M8A7 class. Um, obviously, I have the M87 with my sick-looking camo right there. Look at that shit change color. Look at it. But uh, that camo is the one that I got for um, pre-ordering Black Ops 3, I'm pretty sure. Um, either that or I uh, have absolutely no idea where it came from. But um, I don't. Re in my opinion, I don't really need to have uh, too many attachments on my M87. Uh, just because anything else isn't really too helpful if you do have the... Uh, space for it. obviously you can put it on but um, my first optic is the uh, elo now um, if you guys don't know what that is it's basically like a uh, red dot but um, the top portion you guys can see the difference is basically gone and uh, I find it a lot better because it's kind of like a uh, floating um, red dot and it's a lot more easy to aim with so um, I prefer that if you guys prefer that red dot go for it and then uh, the last attachments I have is actually quick draw just so that I can aim in faster now, um, you guys could have the, uh, another attachment that you guys could have that I actually find a little bit useful is grip, uh, fast mag, extended mag, long barrel, and rapid fire. Anything else than that on an AR, in my opinion, is pretty useless, at least on this. So, um, I try and stick with those. I would put, uh, stock on this, but, um, sadly, so far, it doesn't really do too much to actually help you. So, um, I just kind of stick with quick draw. And then, uh, since I don't really have too many attachments, um, this is my respawn class. So I do have a tro trophy system on, uh, just so I could kind of throw it in hill. But um, I also have a flag jacket and tactical mask as a first and second, uh, first and third perk. Now, um, like I said, I basically use this just to throw it in hill, just to help the people in hill out. Um, this is kind of a class to uh, kind of stay more back, kind of hold spawns. And um, so you don't get naded and stunned, so you guys can get those important kills. Now, um, I also have Blast Suppressor on, so that in Hardpoint, this is really important. The enemy team can't really see you when you're rotating. And that's really, really important to me. If not, you could kind of take that off. You could put something different on, but um, that's kind of what it works for me. And I also have Afterburner on. Now, this basically makes you um, your burners or thrusters, whatever you guys want to call it, reload a lot faster. And... Um, it's really important in respawn for me just because um, you do jump a lot more than you do in SD and things like that and you really need them to actually be full your burners uh, or else you're gonna just end up falling off maps and stuff like that which is, has happened to a lot of people especially me now we'll go on to the M87 for SD uh, nothing really changed you guys can see only a few things um, I still have the M87 with uh, ELO and quick draw you guys can see no attachments but um, I also have a secondary on this, just because I could kind of fit it. Um, I didn't really think I need a flag jacket on this, so I do have a trophy. And um, since it is S&D, Blast Suppressor, and Dead Silence are the two most important perks for S&D, so I'll put them on. And um, Afterburner again, because it's just really, really important to me to have on all your classes. Kind of a must-have for me in this game, um, if you do move around a lot. I have a trophy, obviously, to deflect nades and things like that. A frag uh, to try and chuck it. Usually, uh, beginning of the game, and um, usually I had um, two um, trophy systems on, but uh, since it is kind of S and I didn't really think that was needed. But um, so instead, I just put on the uh, RK5 pistol, and it kind of makes sense having it now, just because. Um, since I do have an M8, which is an AR, it's kind of nice to have a um, another three-round burst pistol, uh, just in case if you guys get into close quarter matches. So uh, that's my S and D class. Now this next class, I'm just gonna warn you guys right now. We were playing a wager the other day, and um, somebody was using this, and he was just absolutely shredding us with this and destroying us, and he just basically won his team the game. So this is why I kind of put it on. I even asked him for this class, so this is exactly what he had. 
and um, <laughs> here it is. So he had a man of war, uh, something different, um, a little bit better for close quarter matches or uh, kills, just in case you don't really want to stay too far. But uh, I have quick draw on this and stock. Um, you could change stock for, uh, like I said, for something else. But um, I don't really think it's needed just because you are going to be kind of close with this. I really do. You only use it in S&D. So uh, just because um, you never know when somebody's going to jump under your gun or on top of you. So um, that's just there just in case. Now, this is where this gets a little bit funky for you guys. Um, I have the Argus. Now, this is probably 100% the best shotgun in the game. Um, let me just... Lever action shotgun reliable with a small hip fire spread and deadly accurate while ADS. No, ADS is uh, aim down sights. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember the uh, KSG, I'm pretty sure it was called, in Black Ops 2, where it was a slug. Now, this gun is basically a Remington and a KSG put together because when you hit fire, you got the normal spreads like a normal shotgun does. When you aim down the sights, it shoots one bullet. And that shit flies. I mean, you could probably kill somebody. From, the range absolutely probably doubles. Or maybe it goes three times as further as it does hip fire. So watch out for people that are using this gun. Because this shit is fucking annoying to play against. But um, I do have a Semtex. Just because um, if it is a close quarter game. Like it is for S&D. This isn't really a gun to uh, stay back with. That's why you have the M8. Uh, but um, I have a Semtex. Just because if somebody does come close to you. You don't want them to be uh, rolling, you don't want the nade to be rolling around uh, before it actually kills somebody. Now, um, right here I just have my um, additional perks. Now, um, you could probably take off stock, which I actually will do right now. I'm going to take off stock and take off this nade, uh, just because I don't really find it useful. And I actually got to fix this right now. I'm going to put on a wild card, and I'll put on dead science. I'm not really sure why I didn't notice that before, but since it says it's dead science class... I have my normal um, afterburner fast hands because you are running overkill. So uh, you kind of have to um, switch your guns faster. And um, that really helps you, if, especially if you're uh, about to get in a gunfight. You don't want to be caught switching your gun. Uh, next, I have my blast suppressor and dead silence. Obviously, um, mandatory perks for SMD. Now we go into an SMG. Finally, now this is probably the best SMG in the game, in my opinion, either this or the Vesper, you guys could switch it out. But um, for my respawn class, uh, you guys are going to notice that I have four attachments. Um, I, I don't have any optics just because I don't really find it useful. Um, the iron sights on this are actually pretty good, but I have quick draw, grip, um, extended mags just because it does shoot pretty fast. So the ammo wastes really, really quick, and um, I just have that so if anything, I could just uh, basically pray and spray. Um, and long barrel but um say this gets banned in the banner protect system um i literally just switch it out for the vesper and uh, i keep the same exact attachments because they're basically the same gun except the uh, vesper is kind of like the um scorpion from black ops 2 and it shoots really really fast but um yeah this is my respawn class i uh like i said i have trophies to deflect nades this is usually if i'm in the hill a little bit more and then i have afterburner and blast suppressor so they can't really see me rotating um, I don't have any dead silence because obviously people don't really try and sound whore and um, hearing things isn't really as important as it is uh, in respawn than it is in S and D. So I don't really pay too much attention to that. But um, like I said, afterburner helps you run walls a lot quicker. So that's my basic um, S and D class or sorry respawn class. Like I said, you can change this for the Vesper or any other gun. Um, like I said though, these are the only two guns that I use, the VMP and the Vesper. Uh, sometimes the Kudo is probably the third best SMG, anything other than that, except the Razorback maybe, I'm not sure if they did anything to it. It's kind of doo-doo in my opinion, so I'll uh, try and keep it to those two. Now lastly, I have my Dead Science class. Now like I said before, you can switch this out, say this gets banned and you could put on the Vesper. Same exact concept, um, you just keep it on however you guys want to. Now um, I have Grip. Quick draw and extended mags again because it does run through ammo really, really fast. And um, if you guys don't want extended mags, you could put on grip. But um, I really prefer extended mags because it does give you a lot more ammo in this game. And um, I don't have any secondary, so there's obviously no attachments for that. Um, since it is S and D, I do have a frag. Um, People put on frags or stun tags, but I prefer frags just in case. I can kind of Kobe people with a frag. Stun tags, if it touches one small thing, it'll stick to that, and it can't really roll. So, um, 
I prefer frags and SD. No tactical. And now we go back to the basic perks. Um, I have afterburner. Um, obviously, you guys could, if you really wanted to, switch this out for flag jacket. But um, I don't really get naded too much. And uh, if I do, I could just pull out the other class without that science and use a trophy system. Or I could just switch this out next map. Whatever you guys prefer. Now, um, no second of uh, perk 2. You guys saw in my last class. I had, um, where is it? Fast hands. Now, um, obviously you don't have a secondary, something like that, a throw. So, um, you don't really need to be too careful with what you're using. And, uh, lastly, it's just my regular perk 3 for S&D, that science, and blast pressure. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, now let's actually get to specialist. Um, we have the synth I usually run just because makes a lot more sense. I have everything unlocked for it. Obviously, everyone does in custom games. And now Shrieks this is going to be the last part of this video. Um, these right here, Guardian, Hellstorm, and uh, Hardened Sentry are my basic uh, competitive score Shrieks. Um, I have a feeling the Sentry Gun is going to get banned just because it is really, really OP. And then uh, I'll just use a Cerberus or uh, probably a Wraith or something like that. But um, those are my respawn score streaks and then if I am playing S and I have the H C X D, the Dart, and usually the Hole Storm because anything else isn't really too helpful in S and D. Um you could probably put on the Guardian. I do actually do that sometimes to uh kinda watch the bomb and when you see the Guardian suppressed you just go check it, kill him, you win the round. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me just switch these back to my respawn classes. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did please remember to like comment subscribe. Follow my social media links down in the description below. It really helps me out a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.